Hey guys, thanks for stopping by my channel. I hope that you guys are all doing well. Um, I'm Olivia, for those of you that are new to my channel. I do videos on um, things that I'm passionate about, my faith, um, skincare routine, um, lots of different things. Today, I want to talk to you guys about self-care. Um, I'm a wife and a mom, and I'm also a full-time caregiver for my mom, and I have a regular job and two businesses that I'm running. So, yes, my plate is full. And women, we're guilty of putting ourselves on the back burner and putting everybody and everything else up, up ahead of ourselves. So with that being said, um, it was one of the things that I put on my 2022 vision board was to make self-care for myself a priority. And so with that, um, I have now designated Saturdays as my self-care day. You can pick whatever day of the week, whatever um, time frame works best for you, but I encourage you to make self-care an important priority in your life. So with that being said, I want to share some of my self-care tools with you guys. Some are good old faithful and some are on the newer side. So I want to start with um, my dry brush. Um, I love dry brushing and so I've been doing it for about five years now. Um, this is like my maybe fifth brush. I, I break them um, and I believe this one came from Amazon. I think most of mine came from Amazon. So for those of you that are not aware, dry brushing is a technique that is excellent for circulation and for draining your lymphatic system. So our skin is our biggest organ, right? And so essentially dry brushing is where you would get um, any kind of dry brush that's soft, nothing hard that will damage your skin, but this is pretty soft with the brittle and you do upward strokes towards your heart all over your body. It feels amazing and like I said, it's good for taking off dead skin, exfoliation, circulation, and draining your lymphatic system. I love this one because it has the extension that I can get to my back. You know, it's hard to get to your back sometimes. Um, this is detachable and there's a little band that you can put it on your hand and you know, you can work um, your brushing technique up towards your heart. It also comes with a little hook I mean the little circle to hang on a hook. I do keep this hung in my bathroom. So this is tool number one. Tool number two is a newer and improved kind of version off of the dry brushing. And it's this, it's the Flawless. Um, so, you know, Flawless has an entire line. This was a gift from my husband for Christmas. And so um, it came as a kit and in the kit is the loofer because this is detachable. Um, so it's a loofer for like adding soap, you know, washing your body. This is great. And then this kind of dryer brush. Um, this would also work great for um, exfoliation, but it came with this. And it also came with a hook. So I actually keep these hung up in my bathroom. Um, my husband got it at CVS um, for me for Christmas and the little hook section where you can um, um, hang it up. And it came with the batteries, it included the batteries. I wanna say there was three batteries and the batteries are like wrapped and cased in some sort of plastic. You didn't have to take the plastic off. So on here, there's a high low section for speed, right? And then this one, I don't know if you could see it, this one is for turning it on. So I turn it on. And then this is the high-low, the top one. This is the speed where you change the speed, right? And I use this all over my body from toe all the way up um, with soap first. After I've soaked in the tub for a while, I just use my body wash and I get everything, right? But this works great in partnership with a body polish. And so um, I just recently found out about um, Dove making body polish. Uh, maybe like five, six weeks ago, I, I, I discovered this. And so 
This one is the pomegranate seed and shea butter um, exfoliating body polish. It smells amazing. It The smell is not overpowering or anything. It's just the right amount of um, smell good stuff. <laughs> it's just the right amount. It smells so, so good. It smells edible, but it's not. Do not eat. <laughs> so if you can see, um, I've got the middle all the way down. I've used it about three, four times-ish now and so after I've lathered up and soaked I just dip my finger in and get a good scoop and I just start applying it from my feet from my toes all the way up and I use it in conjunction with in conjunction with the flawless so guys I do this all the way up my back my arms my everything um, gentle with your chest area your decollete but I, I pretty much use this everywhere and so when I tell you guys, when you use this body polish um, in conjunction with any kind of brush or just even your fingers, if you don't have any kind of brush, your body will feel so smooth like silk. No lie. I get um, little ingrown hairs in the um, little in ingrown hair bumps like in the back of my arm here from wearing my sweaters in the winter time. And when I use that body polish and the brush, everything is smooth. No joke. No joke. So, yeah, that was tool number two, I think. So, on to tool number three. Um, this uh, petty vac is everything. So I'm a little freaked out about hanging out in salons and stuff since pandemic. And even prior to pandemic, I would only go maybe two to three times ish a year. I like to do my own nails, um, do my own pedicure, the whole DIY thing. I love it. So I tend to do my own stuff, but I'll go, uh, you know, three ish times a year. I discovered this at Burlington in the clearance section. It was unopened. It works fine. Nothing's wrong with that um, for like seven, seven dollars, something like that. This is so great. It comes with a charger and this is the speed. You turn it on here and it turns blue. Mine needs to be charged. It turns blue for the regular speed. If you want it to go faster, it turns red. And so right here is like, um, like a, a kind of file stone. I don't know how to describe it. It's very rough, right? So I use this to exfoliate the bottom of my feet. It, it, it leaves my feet feeling so smooth. It gets all the dead skin off. My mom is a diabetic and so her feet are super sensitive and any little time I try to cut her nails or do anything, she's like, ow, ow, ow. This I used to like get her nails down, to file her own, her nails down. She didn't say anything. She didn't say ow. I used this to exfoliate the bottom of her feet. So smooth. Amazing. Again, it's called the Petty Vac. Get one. If you're into doing your own feet or doing your daughter's feet or your um, elderly parent's feet or even your husband. My husband had like a cuticle situation and I used this to buff it right down. It was so smooth. So yeah. Um, now I've been on a um, natural deodorant journey for about five years. Um, after I learned that the aluminum in deodorant can cause like um, cancer, breast cancer in, in, in particular. Um, and also for women of color, um, any kind of uh, whatever ethnic group you are in that has more melanin in your skin, it tends to leave our underarms dark in conjunction with um, shaving. It leaves our underarms like a darker um, color than the rest of us, right? Like hyperpigmentation, I guess, is what that would be called. So um, I've been on the hunt to like, since I learned that and talked to my doctor about it, and both my dermatologist and my regular doctor, um, you know, agreed and said, yeah, uh, deodorant with aluminum is really not great for women. Um, it In a small percentage of women, it can cause cancer. And even though it's a small percentage, I don't want any percentage of getting any kind of cancer, right? So I gave up regular deodorant and I've tried 
a bunch. When I say a bunch, I'm not kidding. I've tried a bunch of natural deodorants trying to find the right one because, you know, I don't want to sweat under my armpit and I certainly don't want to be, you know, smell funky. So I've tried several and it was hit or miss. There's a couple that hit, but for the most part, I would have to continue to reapply it. And it's kind of a hassle. I just kind of want to do one time a day and done or a couple of times a day and just forget about it. I don't want to feel sweat under my arm and I definitely don't want to smell funky. So um, Target has a whole bunch of natural deodorants. I've tried them all. Dove has one that's like my second favorite um, natural deodorant. Um, no aluminum at all is Dove. And then also... Um, um, TJ Maxx has a whole bunch of them. So, you know, if you're on a natural deodorant journey, get a bunch of them and try and see which one you like. My number one, my number one favorite one is by each and every. And so I see a couple of celebrities like, um, um, advertising this. I think it's, um, um, uh, Adrian uh, Bylon Holton. I've seen a commercial with her doing um, this. I saw a couple other celebrities. I can't think of their names right off. But this one is the Rose and um, Vanilla. This is my favorite. There's another one that I've used. I've been using this for a few years now. And I've gone through like one will last me, I want to say maybe like five weeks. One. And so it smells amazing, guys. And like I said, when I put it on, when I put this one on, I can go all day. I don't have to reapply. The other ones that I try, like the Dove and stuff, I do have to reapply at least one time. So, you know, check out, um, you know, the natural deodorant and see which one works the best for you. Um, you know, I hope that I, something I've shared, you know, you'll try it. I'm not sponsored. These are all things that I purchased out of my own coin or my husband's coin, but it's important, um, ladies, moms, wives, that we make our self care a priority. And so put in the comments, what are some of your top self care tools and what day of the week do you set aside for self care? And self-care doesn't have to just be taking care of your body. There are different types of self-care. There's self-care for your mind, right? There's self-care with regards to your health. Um, there's self-care with regards to your spirituality. I'm a Christian, and so spending time with God is important for my relationship with God. So self-care has many layers. And so um, I want to thank you guys for stopping by my channel. Please give me a thumbs up. Please um, subscribe to my channel, tell your friends and family about my channel, and turn on the notification bell so that when I do put up a new video, you'll be one of the first people to um, get that video. Follow me on other social media platforms too. I am on TikTok, Olivia Parks, May number five, um, and also on IG, that's um, tickled underscore pink. 2021 on um, IG and that's my business page on IG. So have a great day guys. Bye. See you next time.